Hi, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful week of sharing kindness in many, many ways every day. Today, we're going to continue talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Remember, the Apostle Paul wrote about the fruit of the Spirit that the Holy Spirit gives to us. They are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There are nine fruit of the Spirit. Today, we're going to talk about patience. Patience is something that you understand most by losing your patience. Patience is the opposite of frustration and anger. And there are times in our lives when it is hard to be patient. Maybe when we're stuck in traffic, it's very hard not to be frustrated and angry. Or when somebody's late, or when someone doesn't want to share with us, we can lose our patience, which is that sense of being centered and calm, no matter the circumstance. I have some words to share with you from the Old Testament of the Bible. These are from the book of Proverbs that comes right after the Psalms near the middle of the Bible. And remember, these words are from thousands of years ago. But listen, those who are hot-tempered stir up strife, but those who are slow to anger calm contention. Those are interesting words, aren't they? What that means is that if you can be patient and not be frustrated or angry, the people around you will also feel patience and they'll feel calm. You know, a long, long time ago, there was a woman named Julian of Norwich. And over 700 years ago, she said, and all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. She was asking us to remember, although the circumstance might take away your patience, you can remember that things will be well. The traffic will start moving. You, you probably will have a friend who will share with you. The person you're waiting on will arrive. So you can think of it in these words too. All is well, all is well, all will be well. When I thought about patience, I thought of a fruit tests my patience, and it is a kiwi, because it is so frustrating to peel them that it's very easy to lose your patience. So a kiwi can be a reminder that as we're patient, it will probably be easier to peel a kiwi, and that will make it sooner that you'll get to enjoy that delicious fruit. So a kiwi goes with keeping your patience. Let's pray together now. We'll fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads, and we'll all say amen together at the end. Dear God, we give you thanks for the fruit of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit has gifted us with ways to make our lives filled with your blessings, blessings that we can then share. We pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, that we might keep our patience even when it's difficult to be patient, even when we feel frustrated or angry. May we remember that in you, all things are possible, and we can be calm and trust you. God, we thank you for family and friends. We pray for the people of your world, your whole world, who are in need. Please guide us, Lord, to help them in any way we can. We pray to you in deep gratitude for the Bible and the stories we learn from it. We pray in the name of 
Jesus, your Son, the risen Christ, and we all say amen together. Now, amen. Amen. I hope in the week ahead you will notice when you might be about to lose your patience and remember that all will be well. Maybe you'll try to peel a kiwi as a test of your patience, and I hope you pass that test. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.